Alright guys, so in the rumor mill is the possible addition of a 1060 Ti to Nvidia's Pascal lineup of cards. Now personally, I don't think there's enough of a market out there to really warrant a 1060 Ti, considering the difference between a 1060 and a 1070 is around 25% difference in performance, but we'll explore what a 1060 Ti could potentially look like. So where did the whole 1060 Ti rumor start from? Well, it started all the way back in April of 2016, where three NVIDIA GP104 SKUs were found. Now, currently only two GP104 SKUs have been released, these being the GTX 1070 and the GTX 1080, with the Titan X Pascal being a GP102 SKU. Now, this leaves that last SKU, the GP104 150, as a bit of a mystery as to where it went which left many to believe even at the time of that rumor that a 1060 Ti would release. But since so much time has passed and no such card announced, that rumor kind of melted away, but it's reared its ugly head once again. I would however argue also that Nvidia originally planned to release a 1060 Ti had Polaris's RX 480 been more powerful and considering the 1060 was a actual answer to the RX 480, it makes a lot of sense. But since the 1060 was sufficient, Nvidia put the 1060 Ti on the back burner to push more GTX 1070 sales and keep the market segmented for their GPUs. With Vega, however, now on the horizon and with Nvidia trying to keep the market interested, especially with an RX 570 or 580 GPU possibly coming out soon and beating the current 1060, Nvidia may need to release a 1060 Ti as an option to keep their market share. Seeing as a 1080 Ti is still segmented within the 10 series GPU naming scheme, it may make more sense rather than to create a new marketing series and confusing buyers to release a 1060 Ti as a way to compete with the refurbished Polaris lineup under the RX 500 naming system, which leads many of us to think what kind of specs we can expect from this cut down GP104 variant. Now, mind you, these are estimations, but considering this is a rumor video, that shouldn't be much of a worry. But essentially, we're looking at the GTX 1060 and the 1070 as a bit of precedence, and both the GP104 1070 and the GP106 1060 are able to keep a base clock of 1506 MHz. Because of this, we can assume that the 1060 Ti, if it's based on a cut down GP104 with decent yields, it should be able to target the same base clock of 1506 MHz. In terms of boost clocks, both the 1070 and the 1060 target around 1700 MHz of boost clock, so let's keep it at 1700 MHz. Sim for simplicity's sake. Now let's move on to cores. If we look at the core difference between the 1070 and the 1060, we see a 34% difference in cores, yet only a 25 to 28% difference in performance between the cards. Now if we take this precedent and apply it to the 1060 Ti, and if we're targeting around 15% difference in performance, then we should have around about 20% difference in cores and between a 1060 and a 1070 that leads us to around 1500 to 1600 cores now if we settle on 1536 it's actually exactly 80 percent of the 1070's core count like the 1060 we expect to see six gigabytes of gddr5 vram clocked to 8000 megahertz effective as six gigabytes of vram is more than sufficient at 1080p However, it's possible that because it's a TI variant, uh, Nvidia might slap an extra two gigabytes on it and we might see an eight gigabyte model on of the 1060 Ti. However, I highly suspect that in order to keep costs low, Nvidia will keep it at six gigabytes and still give people an incentive if they wanna buy the 1070 for that extra two gigabytes of VRAM as well as extra performance and better memory performance and a bigger memory bus width. Now, if it stays at six gigabytes, like I said, I think Nvidia will most likely keep the bus width at 192 bit in order to prevent people from overclocking a 1060 Ti and matching the 1070's base speed. Plus, anything larger isn't really needed on a card like this. It isn't bottlenecking the performance by having a 192-bit memory bus on a 1080p targeted card. Now, as for TDP, we should be somewhere in the region of 140 to 150 watts if it's a cut-down GP104 chip. Since the 1070 is targeting 150 watts of TDP itself, 
it shouldn't use as much power and they should be able to squeeze it down to maybe 130 but probably 140 uh, which is a very conservative kind of estimate now as for teraflops this gives us 4.6 teraflops of compute power on the 1060 ti which is 80 percent of the compute power of the 1070 which stands at 5.7 teraflops giving us all these specs for the rumored 1060 Ti, which should be within 15% of the performance of a GTX 1070. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section below, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.